In this video, we review Azure Monitor for Windows Virtual Desktop. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and this is Seraltos. I love when something good gets even better. That's what happened this week with the announcement that Azure Monitor for Windows Virtual Desktop is in public preview. I reviewed a Windows Virtual Desktop monitoring solution that leverages log analytics and a custom run book a few weeks ago. That's a good option, but it required some manual steps to get working. With Azure Monitor for Windows Virtual Desktop, we get a built-in solution with minimal configuration. Let's take a look at what it has to offer, but before that, please take a second to like, subscribe, share with a friend, and if you'd like to learn more about Windows Virtual Desktop, check out my course, Zero to Hero with Windows Virtual Desktop on udemy.com. The link is below, and probably above. Azure Monitor for Windows Virtual Desktop provides a dashboard of key metrics for a Windows Virtual Desktop environment. This information can help with troubleshooting problems with a deployment, connectivity issues, host issues, and performance and client information. It provides user feedback from data patterns and resource utilization. So what exactly is it? Azure Monitor is a service that provides performance and availability monitoring for applications in Azure. Azure Monitor, Log Analytics, and Application Insight were combined into one service called Azure Monitor a couple years ago. With Azure Monitor for Windows Virtual Desktop, we get a tighter integration between the Windows Virtual Desktop and the monitoring solution. Here's what's needed to get started. The solution only works with the new ARM-based Windows Virtual Desktop. The solution won't work with the Windows Virtual Desktop version fall 2019. It requires a log analytics workspace. That's the engine that collects and processes the Windows Virtual Desktop data. We have to enable collections for performance counters, events, and diagnostic data in Windows Virtual Desktop and on the session host virtual machines. Also, this is currently in preview. Support is limited and there may be changes by the time this goes GA. Let's walk through the setup next. In the demo, we create a new log analytics workspace then we'll go into Azure Monitor and configure the solution. We'll add the performance counters and events for the host pool and session host. Once the solution is deployed, we'll give it some time to collect data and then review the information. Let's get started in the Azure portal. Let's start by creating a new log analytics workspace. If you have one already, you can use that. And if you've deployed the other log analytics monitoring solution, you may have some of the settings already in place. For the sake of clarity, I removed all the diagnostics and performance settings from the host pool I'm using and starting from scratch. Let's go to All Services and search for Log Analytics and create a new workspace. We'll add a workspace. I'll give this its own resource group, create new, and I'll give it the name uh, WVD Monitor RG. We'll scroll down and give it a name. I'll give it the name WVD Monitor CIR. Notice I can't just give it the name WVD Monitor. It has to be global unique and that's already taken. That's why I added the CIR at the end. And set the region to the region you'll use. This example will use Central US. Next, we'll go to the pricing tier. There's only one pricing option available. And if you're following along, there is a charge for Log Analytics Workspace. It's billed by the amount of data collected. It's relatively inexpensive, but just be aware of that. Next, we'll go to Tags and add tags as needed, then Review and Create, and click Create. This will just take a minute or two to finish. I'll pause here and come back once it's done. Okay, that's complete. Now let's next go to Windows Virtual Desktop. And here at the bottom of the uh, panel, we have Insights. Click on that. It's telling us that Azure Monitor is not configured for the selected Windows Virtual Desktop host pool. And if you have multiple host pools, you can change that up here with a filter. I only have one on this subscription. We need to onboard Azure Monitor for this host pool. 
So let's click on Open Configuration Workbook to get started. First, we'll set the diagnostic settings for the host pool. Make sure that the correct resource group and host pool are selected. And again, you can change that with a filter at the top if needed. We'll select a workspace name. This is the Log Analytics workspace we'll send the log data to. It's the workspace we just set up. And now we go to Configure Host Pool. And this is going to add all of those diagnostic settings. Click Deploy to configure the diagnostic settings on the host pool. This will just take a second to run. Once it's done, click Refresh. And here it shows it's set. So we're all good there with the diagnostic settings on the host pool. Let's scroll down. Let's set the log analytics configuration for the session host next. We'll select the workspace. And again, this is the same workspace we just created. And we have some performance counters we have to add. There's a list here on the right. We simply go to configure performance counters and apply configuration. And that will deploy the settings. Once done, we'll hit refresh again. Here it shows there's no missing counters. Let's go down to Windows Events next. So far, it's been nice. We've been able to add these settings from a deployment. We didn't have to do it manually. But that's not an option for this next step. We have to record the events from the list and add them to the workspace manually. Hopefully, this is something that will change by the time this goes GA, but there's really not much to it. If we scroll up a little bit and maybe make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. We only have five different names to enter, although there's a list of more than five. You can see for the first one, we have error warning information. And then for the next terminal server one, we've got error warning information. System is just error and warning. And then we've got a couple FS logics. So let's add these manually. I'm going to highlight this first one. And then I'm going to come over to my log analytics and open in a new tab. That way we don't lose our place. I'll go into our workspace. Go to Advanced Settings, Data. I'll just scroll over a little bit. And we'll add the first one. And you can see we've got error warning and information. So let's go back to the next, which is the one that ends in operational. I'll put that in. We'll come back, we'll copy system, and notice system doesn't require informational. We'll select system, I'll uncheck that. If you leave informational on for system, you'll collect more data and log analytics is billed by the amount of data you collect. So it's up to you if you want to leave it or not. I'll just leave it off here. And then we'll go to FS Logics app operational. That's added as well with error, warning, and information. And then the last one is FS Logics Apps Admin. There we go. Once you've added those, make sure you click Save. I'll close that window. And once done, we'll click Refresh again. So now it shows no missing events. Last, we have to add the host to the workspace. This also provides an option to deploy with a template. Make sure all your session hosts are powered on. We'll go to Add Hosts and Deploy. It'll take a couple minutes for the Log Analytics agent to get installed on all the session hosts. Once that's done, we'll need to generate some traffic to be able to take a look at what the solution offers. I'm going to pause here and once it's finished, sign in with a couple test accounts so we can get some traffic and come back once we have something to look at. I'm back and we have some data to look at. Let's go back to Windows Virtual Desktop and we'll go into Insights. I'm going to make this a little bigger. Let's walk through the different sections quick. 
We get a lot of information from this solution. I'm going to review some of the highlights with the data I gathered. There are some queries that don't seem to be working in the examples I'm going to show. I suspect a big part of that is I've only collected data for literally a few minutes, and there's just not enough data to display. There could also be some errors with the queries. As for that, keep in mind that this was just released as public preview at the time of this recording. Here we are in overview, and we see some information on the host pool. We can see that it's a pooled host pool, breadth first, with a four max session. We can drill down and get some information on the specific session hosts. We can see one is put into drain mode, and we have three active sessions. And if we select one of these hosts, let's try this one. It'll display session data below. One thing to be careful, when it says to select a host, don't click on these. Uh, clicking on this will bring you to host pool, and you'll leave this page. We can come down and we can see connection diagnostics, connection performance. If there was some errors, they would display here. And we've got some latency information. One of my test users are connecting through India, so that's creating high latency for that one host. There's nothing wrong with it. It just makes the graphs a little bit more interesting. We can see some utilization information and alerts, and again, there's no alerts. Let's go back up. Connection diagnostics will give you connection-specific information. You can see we had an error. And here we don't have any data to show. Let's look at the connection activity browser. We can drill down and select the session. We'll get some information on that. Let's go back up and go to connection performance. Here we get some details around the connections. Under host diagnostics, we can get some information on the host. Here again, we can see one set to drain mode. If there were any events, they'd show here. We can view performance statistics per host. So I can change the host. We'll go to, let's say, memory. And look at page faults. And it'll give us a graph off to the side. And here's a quick look at CPU and available memory. Host performance gives us a lot of information on the host. We can look at processes running. We can view some of the performance metrics. User report is for, well, users. We have to select a user. And it gives us details on that user. And then at the very end, we've got utilization reports. That gives us overall utilization. And then client reports. Here it's showing us we have some HTML clients and some MSRDC clients. That's a quick overview of the solution. As noted earlier, it may be a little bit more impressive if there was more data, but that will hopefully get you started collecting data for your own environment that you can dig into and review for further information. Ongoing monitoring is important to the success of any service. I was excited to see this added to the Windows Virtual Desktop portal. It provides a lot of important information right at your fingertips. This was the preview version we deployed. I suspect we'll see some improvements once it goes GA. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.